A super chat question from no name gave us 50 Swedish krona. Thank you. Saying, Susanna, how did you initially go about telling those close to you about your radical past? And how did you tackle your fear over rejection over your past? Um, well, no name, you, you messaged me on Instagram and I messaged you back. But then when I messaged you back, it said that your account didn't exist anymore. I was like, oh man, like I, I had some, I had some good advice and resources for you. So you know, maybe try, or you can message me at Susanna at atheistrepublic.com. You can email me if you want. Anyways, um, how did I initially go about telling those about your radical past? Well, I did it in the <laughs> most aggressive way possible, which is by going on a public platform first. <laughs> so I would not recommend this for pretty much anyone. <laughs> Um, I went out guns blazing and, uh, did my first, uh, public appearance ever on the Secular Jihadists, uh, channel. So you can go check out that episode on, uh, Secular Jihadists, uh, YouTube channel. But, um, how did I go about telling us about my radical past? Um, it's, for me at this point, it's just kind of like a funny anecdote. <laughs> um, so I think um, it's something like I'll talk about it on a first date or whatever that people just find very interesting or they, they, they're they curious about. Um, I think it might be a bit different for me because I was on the lefty side of things and that's perceived like in general less threatening even if you are like a you know very far lefty militant it's just not seen as bad um as far right militant at least in my communities in my my country i mean i also live in the bay area which is one of the most lefty places in the country so um it, um how did i tackle my fear of a rejection over my past um, I actually haven't faced that much fear over rejection over my past itself. It, it, for me, it is actually comes more from re re facing rejection because of the criticisms that I now have because of um, my experience with in far lefty communities. So when you're criticizing the left, people on the left take that very seriously they will you know cast you out tech fear you suddenly i'm far right like i'm uh, you know i'm alt right all this stuff um when i'm actually still a liberal like i'm still on the left i just have some criticisms and i want to talk about the worst impulses of the fringes you know from a more well-informed place now and um some of my criticisms people perceive as me being like anti-progressive um, when really I'm like, I actually think that some of these ideas or the way we're going about trying to execute these ideas are actually harming these progressive causes. Um, a lot, so a lot of people don't have a, a tolerance for that. Um, I think what would help you based on the message you sent me on Instagram, which I, you know, won't get into publicly, but, um, would be to find people of a, um, a similar group and experience of, as you. And I actually have some like resources and communities that might be able to help you with that. And um, someone who Armin and I both know, a mutual friend um, comes from a similar ideological background as you. So maybe I could connect you two if you'd be interested in that. I, I could ask him if he would be willing to email you. Um, and I, um, I think this this person in particular might uh, be a good person for you to interact with because his experience reflects yours a little bit more closely. And he's public about his experience now and um, is one of the nicest, kindest um, people you'll meet. Um, so I think um, it, it takes time, but you will learn that people good people, good people will celebrate you for what you have changed about yourself. Good people will be proud of you for what you've changed about yourself. Um, people who are judgmental and reject you and close you out um, are not people who are interested in genuine change and the betterment of society.
because given your background, we should be celebrating you for what you've done. Um, and I'm, I'm very firmly believe that. Um, so I would encourage you to email me at Susanna at atheistrepublic.com or, you know, message me on Instagram again in, cause I'd, I'd really like to connect you to some of that stuff. Oh give my goodness. Name, give it another super chat. Thank you for another super chat saying Instagram slapped me with the band, sent an appeal last week. No response. We'll send an email. Can't describe how much I appreciate it again. Thank you. Oh, well, thank you. I, I don't know why they insta banned you. You had nothing on your account, but, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, feel free to reach out and I hope I can uh, connect you to some good stuff. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.